Today is part two of my daughter's bedroom makeover. In part one, I mentioned before that my goal is to have a ton of storage in this room. Since we only have three main bedrooms in the house, we still wanted her room to be guest friendly in a place that people could come and spend the night when they came over. So one of the first purchases we made was a queen size storage bed. I went back and forth on what to do with the wall across from the bed. So I sketched it out and used AI to help me visualize how it could look with the wardrobe in here. I wanted this one, but it was gonna take forever to ship. So I went into a woodworking shop and he custom drew it for me. But quoted me $1,700 and I just could not. So I had to scratch that all together. I went back to Facebook Marketplace and I came across these. And I was like, yes, I could make this work somehow. So I snagged those up, brought them home and put them on each end of the wall. That way I could somehow incorporate the little vintage desk that she found at a thrift shop that she begged me for. She fell in love. She is quite the little artist and loves to draw. So this was perfect for her. And I was definitely feeling like we hit the nail on the head and I had a ton of storage in here. She fell in love with this light from Ikea, which reminded her of her disco ball in her other room. She she also picked out this really that cute one? bed spreadsheet, which I thought would be perfect for adding in some color to the space. You sure you don't want polka dot? Um, you don't want the polka dot up there because I don't want it the same. She was right because the colors popped so well with the green. There was still just something missing about this wall to me. So I sat and stared at it for a day or two before deciding it needed some color with some wallpaper. And she ended up picking this one, which was perfect because she loves the beach and it had the colors of the rest of the room, including the comforter. Stay tuned for part three where we finish up the room.